This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of separation of variables. Question 1. Move y to the right, then x times dy dx equals y squared minus y, then times dx over x on each side, x is cancelled, dx is cancelled, dy equals y squared minus y times dx over x. Then divide by y squared minus y on each side. Then 1 over y squared minus y dy equals cancelled 1 over x dx. Integrate both sides. Then use the partial fraction. 1 over y squared minus y. We can factor y times y minus 1 equals a over y plus b over y minus 1. Then times y times y minus 1 on each side. 1 equals y is cancelled a times y minus 1 plus y minus 1 is cancelled by. If y equals 1, then 1 equals 1, that means 0, then b times 1, b equals 1. If y equals 0, then 1 equals a times 0 minus 1, then a equals minus 1. Then 1 over y times y minus 1 equals a, which is minus 1, over y plus b, which is 1, over y minus 1. Then back to the original integral of this part is here 1 over y minus 1 minus 1 over y dy equals integral of 1 over x dx. Then this one is ln absolute value of y minus 1 minus ln absolute value of y equals ln absolute value of x plus c. Use the logarithmic property ln a minus ln b equals ln a over b then ln absolute value of y minus 1 over y equals add an absolute value of x plus c equals c times 1 then c times 1 means add an e then c goes up we can rewrite as add an e to the power of c then back to the original add an e to the power of c add an absolute value of y minus 1 over y equals add an a plus add an b equals add an a times b. So this one we can rewrite as add an absolute value of x times e to the power of c. Then take up the add an sign. Argument are the same. We can take up the absolute value sign, the y minus 1 over y equals plus minus e to the power of cx, where plus minus e to the power of c is a, then y minus 1 over y equals ax. Then use the given initial condition, y of 1 equals minus 1, then minus 1 minus 1 over minus 1 equals a times 1. Then minus 2 over minus 1 is 2 is a. Then y minus 1 over y equals ax, which is 2x. Separate the fraction. 1 minus 1 over y equals 2x. Then 1. Move minus 1 over y to the right. Move 2x to the left. 
then make into a fraction form upside down on each side 1 over y is y this is 1 over 1 minus 2x the final answer is y equals 1 over 1 minus 2x question 2 move this part to the right then y times 1 plus x squared dy dx equals x times 1 plus y squared then times dx on each side cancelled y times 1 plus x squared dy equals x times 1 plus y squared dx then divide by 1 plus x squared times 1 plus y squared on each side then cancelled y over 1 plus y squared dy equals cancelled x over 1 plus x squared dx then integrate both sides then use u substitution let u equal 1 plus y squared then derive on each side du equals 2y dy then divide by 2 on each side 1 over 2 du equals y dy then first one integral of y dy is 1 over 2 du then 1 over this part is u equals now w equals 1 plus x squared then derive on each side dw equals 2x dx then divide by 2 on each side 1 over 2 dw equals x dx then right hand side integral of x dx is 1 over 2 dw then 1 over this part is a W. Then times 2 on each side. Cancelled. Cancelled. Integral of 1 over U DU equals integral of 1 over W DW. Then add an absolute value of U equals add an absolute value of W plus C. Add an absolute value of u was 1 plus y squared equals add an absolute value of w was 1 plus x squared plus c equals c times 1 equals c times change 1 into add an e then c goes up add an e to the power of c then back to the original c equals this ln e to the power of c in here this and this are always positive so we can rewrite as ln not absolute value just bracket 1 plus y squared equals ln bracket 1 plus x squared plus ln e to the power of c then use the logarithmic property ln a plus ln b equals ln a times b then ln 1 plus y squared equals ln 1 plus x squared times e to the power of c then take off the ln sign the arguments are the same so 1 plus y squared equals e to the power of c times 1 plus x squared and where e to the power of c b a then 1 plus y squared equals a times 1 plus x squared then use the given initial condition y0 equals square root of 3 then 1 plus square root of 3 squared equals a times 1 plus 0 squared 1 plus 3 is 4 equals a times 1 then 1 plus y squared equals 
a which is 4 times 1 plus x squared then 1 plus y squared equals expand 4 plus 4x squared then y squared equals 4x squared then minus 1 on each side plus 3 then y equals square root of 4x squared plus 3 or minus square root of 4x squared plus 3. We have an initial condition. y of 0 equals square root of 3. That means we need a positive value. So we don't need this. The final answer is y equals square root of 4x squared plus 3. This is the last one, times dx on each side, then cancelled, dy equals 4 square root of y, add an x, over x dx, then divide by square root of y on each side, then 1 over square root of y dy equals cancelled, 4 add an x, over x dx. Then integrate on each side. We can rewrite as make the power form integral of y to the power of minus 1 over 2 dy equals 4 integral of at an x over x dx. Then use the power rule for integration y to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 4. Use u substitution. Let u equal ln x. Then derive on each side. du equals 1 over x dx. Then back to the original integral of ln x is u. Then 1 over x dx is du. Then the numerator is y to the power of 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 equals 4 times u squared over 2 plus c then this one is 2 square root of y equals 2u squared plus c then 2 square root of y equals 2 times u was at an x squared plus c then use the initial condition y of e equals 1, then 2 times square root of 1 equals 2 times add an e squared plus c, then 2 equals 2 times 1 squared plus c, that means c equals 0, then 2 square root of y equals 2, add an x squared, then 2 is cancelled, Square root of y equals at an x squared. Then square on each side. The final answer is y equals at an x to the power of 4. This is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.